This is Midwest Sports Now. Thanks for watching. Straight to news now as the Hastings Broncos Athletic Department will offer two new sports beginning in 2020-2021, men's volleyball and women's wrestling. This is going to bring the number of sports that the athletic department offers up to 26 total for the Broncos. It will also bring the number of men's volleyball programs in the NAI up from 42 in 2019-2020 to an even 50 in 2020-2021. The St. Louis Heritage Football Classic and all the events associated with it that were set to take place on November 23rd have been canceled. This is due to low ticket sales and it was mutually agreed upon by the BCSG 360 and by Lincoln University and Kentucky State University which were set to play in the event to move forward and not actually have it in 2019. However, BCSG 360 is working with stakeholders in order to execute a plan to make it take place in 2020. At the MIAA Media Days a little bit earlier, Fort Hayes State and Northwest Missouri found themselves at the top of the preseason polls in women's basketball and men's basketball, respectively. For Northwest Missouri, the Bearcats are going to travel to Durham, North Carolina this Saturday to take on the Duke Blue Devils in an exhibition game. This is the second time that Northwest has started its exhibition season against the Duke Blue Devils. Back in 2017, following the 2017 National Championship run, Northwest traveled to take on Duke in Cameron Indoor Arena and they fell to the Duke Blue Devils 93-60 to in a nationally televised game. However, Northwest Missouri has really made some noise over the last three years to the tune of 100 wins over a three-year span. That's right, a record of 105. Back in the 2016-2017 season, the Bearcats went 35-1. and The next year, 27-4. and And last season, 2018-2019, Northwest ran the table to an undefeated record of 38-0. and And, of course, the season was culminated with a national championship. Something that Fort Hayes State would like to do on the women's side, the Tigers are the reigning conference champions, and Coach Tony Hobson at Media Day said he believes his team has the talent to compete for another championship if, among other things, that the team stays healthy. Uh, we do have a lot coming back. We have four, four seniors that started at least part of the year and uh, some good new kids. So, uh, like I said, we plan on... Uh, trying to do the same things we've done as far as uh, style of play and all of those things. It's just going to be mixing in three or four new kids. Uh, we, we have two transfers, two freshmen uh, to join uh, ten returners. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting season. I don't think we've ever been picked at the top before. Uh, I kind of liked how last year went, uh, getting picked second. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to try to play from the front this year. I think everybody needs uh, a certain level of talent to compete in this league. I think we have uh, enough talent, and I think you need to stay healthy. Um, and that's kind of what got us last year a little bit towards the end of the year in regional. And will be a factor this year as I had uh, two, two of our top returners had postseason surgery, um, and they, they will play. and just need to get them back full speed uh, and then as everybody needs a couple breaks so uh, looking looking forward to to getting started and I think if we have those three things happen I think we'll we'll be uh, at least able to compete for a, uh, for another title that video courtesy the MIAA a special shout out goes to Larry House this has been Midwest Sports Now. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more about your Midwest sports team, give me a shout out. Talk to me about your Division II, your Division III, or NAIA school. You can reach me at joey at midwestsports.net. Thanks again for watching. God bless you, and have a great day.